Welcome, role players. My name is Mario, and let's teach you the basics of Savage Worlds combat attack rolls. Attacks in Savage Worlds are split into two categories, melee and ranged attacks. Melee attacks are made against targets next to each other, typically using a melee weapon such as a sword or a dagger. Ranged attacks include weapons such as guns or grenades. Melee attacks use your character's fighting skill, while ranged attacks usually use your shooting skill, with the exception of hand grenades which use your throwing skill. The target number for attacks depends on the type of attack. When making a melee attack, the target's parry score becomes the target number needed for success. Ranged attacks have a standard target number of 4, with one exception. If you are making a ranged attack at a target that is next to you, like a melee attack with a ranged weapon, the target's parry is used as the target number. All examples from now on will be against a target with a parry of 6. Furthermore, these examples will use the following attribute and skill scores for your character. A d6 strength attribute, a d8 fighting skill, and a d10 shooting skill. Let's start with a simple example, making a melee attack with your bare hands. This uses your d8 fighting skill and your d6 wild die, taking the higher result. The target number is the target's parry, which is 6. Using this roll, we take the higher result, the 6, which is enough to succeed on the attack. An unarmed strike uses your character's strength score as damage, in your case, a d6. Here your damage is 5. Notice that no wild die is used in your damage roll. Of course, the damage rolls can ace, commonly referred to as exploding, when you roll the maximum value for that die type. This time we'll use a common weapon to attack, a dagger. We roll the same d8 fighting skill and d6 wild die. Here the d8 has aced, so an additional d8 is rolled. The final result is either 11 or 4, so we'll use the 11 as the final roll. Since the target's parry is 6, an 11 represents a success and a raise, because every 4 over the target number represents a raise. Thus, 6 to 9 is a success, and 10 to 13 is a success with a raise. Attacks that have a raise, regardless of the number of raises, add a single d6 to the damage roll due to the exceptional success. A dagger's damage is strength plus a d4. Since we rolled a raise, the total dice roll is 2d6 and 1d4. Your total damage roll is 9. Let's try some ranged attacks. You are famed gunslinger Bell Star with your trusty Colt 45. You fire your pistol point blank at the sheriff standing in front of you. This attack uses your d10 shooting skill. But because the sheriff is in melee range, the target number is his parry of 6 instead of the normal ranged attack target number of 4, so this roll would miss. Luckily, your partner took him out from a distance, so you decide to take a shot and one of his deputies five squares away, well within the pistol's short range. You roll your d10 shooting and your wild die against the standard target number of 4. The d10 aces, so you roll another one. Comparing your two options, you take the 12, giving you a success and two raises. Remember, multiple raises do not provide a benefit higher than a single raise, so you add a single d6 to your damage roll. The damage of a Colt 45 pistol is 2d6 plus 1, and since you rolled at least one raise, the total damage dice roll is 3d6 plus 1. Your total damage roll is 9. Your next shot is against a target 20 squares away, which is medium range for your pistol. That means you will have a minus 2 penalty to your attack roll. The target number is still 4, but even with the minus 2, your final roll is just enough to succeed. Remember that if you want to re-roll your attack, you can spend bennies to do so. In the previous example, if you really wanted to try and get a raise, you could spend a benny to re-roll. Unfortunately, your roll was not as good. But don't worry, when spending bennies to re-roll, you can never do worse than previous rolls. To put it another way, only the best roll is kept when spending bennies, whether it is the original or the third re-roll. 
One final note about bennies. Unless you have an edge that allows you to do so, you may not spend bennies to re-roll your damage dice. Thanks for watching. You now know the basics of combat attack rolls in Savage Worlds.